lunchtime, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and make me like a, sort of like a bowl. Um, we made tacos the other night, so I had some soft shells left over. So I got a plastic bowl. And I'm just going to stick one of these soft shell tacos in here on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. So what I did, um, I took some refried beans that we had already cooked up. These are left over. And I'm spreading the refried beans on the bottom of my bowl. Okay, so I'm basically done with that part anyway. And I have two beets. I have some um, rotisserie chicken that we cooked up in taco seasoning. And then I have some uh, seasoned beef. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. That's my protein. Put a little bit of each. It ain't going to hurt. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So I spread across some of the beef, some of the chicken on top of my refried beans. Okay. This is all leftovers. You got to make it work till payday, y'all. You got to make it work now. Okay. Then we're going to add um, some guacamole and our leftover lettuce and tomato and onion and everything. And I think it's some cucumber. Hold on. Okay. So I didn't put um, the lettuce and everything on there yet because I got to warm this up. Now you could eat it cold. Some people eat it cold. I'm not going to eat it cold. Um, I'm going to warm this up because I put cheese over it, let the cheese melt. Then I'll put my lettuce, tomato, my leftover onions, all that on there. I'll put some sour cream on there and some um, taco sauce. So hold on. So, okay, everything is now warmed and my cheese is not all the way melted, but it's good enough. Um, I'm not one of those people that wants my food hot, hot, hot. As long as it's warm enough, I'm good. Going to take the leftovers, yes, onion, tomato, lettuce, whatever we got in here. We're going to put that on top, put our sauce on top, left over, and we're going to put some sour cream. I'll come back and show you. There it is with our veggies on top. I love veggies, y'all. So that's the tomato, the lettuce, the onion. I think there was a little bit of cucumber left over in there, too. We're going to add our sauce and our sour cream, and we're going to have lunch, y'all. There it is, y'all. Without my sour cream, I'm going to put the sour cream on it, but... Just wanted to show y'all, hey, it's better than going to Chipotle. It's better than going to Taco Bell. It's free. It's home. So this is what we're doing today, okay? Let me put that sour cream on and we is done. And there she is, y'all. Lunch. At home. Leftovers. Save some money. I am happy. Gonna be good. Love y'all so much. Yes, y'all. I hope he made meatballs. He makes his own meatballs. He made his own meatballs out of turkey meat. What'd you put in your meatballs this time, baby? Oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, Parmesan cheese, onions. Oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, Parmesan cheese. red onion ooh, and then our sauce you guys it wasn't nothing but the hunt sauce basic in the can but hubby hooked it up with his seasonings and i had a can and i know he threw it away um we had a can of diced green tomatoes that i found in dollar tree okay um it's very hard to find i think i found them in north carolina and we mixed those in the sauce you can't even see it, but them green tomatoes going to be good. They're going to be good, y'all. Um, so this is it, you guys. They're called More Glen Organic. Organic. This is Dollar Tree. Green tomatoes, petite diced, and they're fire roasted. Now, normally, Dollar Tree sells the red tomato. I've never seen the green one. This is the only can I have ever found, and I think I found this in North Carolina. Um, I'm hoping to find some more. But we went ahead and mixed those in with the sauce. You know, you can buy Hunt's and regular um, inexpensive tomato sauce. You just got to hook it up with your own flavorings. We've had those meatballs in that sauce, you guys. Oh, they're going to be so good. Then Hubby's got some French bread going on. And we tried out, let me see, the microwavable pasta. Y'all know y'all seen this in Dollar Tree. Um, this is the pasta zing spaghetti pasta, um, microwaves in 60 seconds. It worked out just fine. No problems. We're going to use that tonight. We use two bags of those. Um, they also have like the rainbow pasta, but 
um, you know, we need a spaghetti. So that's what we're doing tonight. I hope you guys are having a great night because we are going to enjoy our food. I will show you my plate when I get done. All right, y'all, there's the spaghetti and the meat bowl. We use that spaghetti. There's the French, uh, Italian bread. I said French bread, y'all, I'm sorry. There's the meatballs I'll be made. Here's my salad, yes. I think we're both trying just the Italian today. It's gonna be yummy. And I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese on here, y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Lady C. And the place to meet is Friday night. And hubby is making cheese steaks. So here's our rolls. Yes, they are nice and warm. You can warm them up. We got lettuce. We got tomato. We got ketchup. We got mustard. And we got mayo. Cheese steaks. These are steakums, you guys. He got them all ready with the cheese and fried onion. Ooh, that's provolone. Y'all don't know nothing about that. It is about to go down. All right, y'all, there is my cheese steak with provolone and the onion. Ooh, it's looking good. Now I'm going to put my tomatoes and my lettuce on it, uh, put my condiments on it, and I'll come back and show you. All right, you, added, you guys, I added some mayonnaise, some mustard, some ketchup. It is going down. Look how happy he does this. He always makes them look so pretty. Move your hand, baby. Look at that, look at that. Hey y'all, it's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C's hauls and all. And we are coming to you today with a Friday haul. Um, of course, you know how hubby does it, but today he didn't go to the commissary. He went to um, grocery outlet. I told you guys Pookie's View got me hooked on grocery outlet. Thanks Pookie because... They be having great prices. If you have a um, grocery outlet near you, go there. They be having great prices, you guys. Not on everything, but there's just certain things that you probably would want to keep picking up from there. Okay? So let me show y'all what we picked up. I also had him at Dollar Tree trying to see if um, Dollar Tree had any more of the Mrs. Myers. Because you guys know the Mrs. Myers is $1.25 if you can find it. I think the resellers have cleaned the shelves because hubby went and there was none to be seen. Um, so if you can find some in your area, pick them up. But I don't know. They've been out for a while and everybody's been talking about them. I don't think there's any to be found right now. Um, so I'm on the search for my daughter because she wants some. Anyway, um, let's get into it. Let's talk about what hubby picked up. Now, we were on the hunt for these, you guys. These are the Foster Farms Takeout Crispy Wings. Classic Buffalo. Um, ready in 16 minutes in your air fryer. And the reason we know these are good is because um, our local bar sells these. They cook them up in their air fryer and they sell them. Um, I think you get six wings for a certain price. I have to ask my husband what the price is. But everybody was saying how good they were. So somebody said that they have them at, oh, y'all, I think they have the big, big, huge bag at Costco. It's either Costco or BJ's. I'll put in here where, which store it is. Um, but they sell a large bag of these at Costco's or BJ's, and these are supposed to be really big. But you can get this one, 16 ounces, one pound, for $8.99 at your local grocery outlet. Okay. Um, and they're pretty tasty. Now, we did buy the barbecued, honey barbecue ones. I like them. My husband did not like them. There was nothing wrong with them. He just doesn't like saucy wings. He would rather have them naked or, you know, however. Um, so, we went ahead and picked these up. So, uh, I know he'll like these. But anyway, this is what we went to grocery outlet looking for. Um, this name brand, the Foster Farms, they have all kinds of different chicken, chicken uh, patties, chicken um just all kinds of chicken you guys so check them out they're pretty good and let me give you i'm gonna give you the pricing as i go along because we're not gonna spend all day on this um let's see y'all the chicken okay yeah the chicken again like i said they were $8.99 for a one pound bag um then my hubby loves these now you see these at mcdonald's these are the honest kids organic the juices this one is the goodness grapeness juice drink from concentrate 
He loves these because they don't have a lot of sugar in them. Um, you get eight pouches in here. He just found out that Grocery Outlet sold these. Um, they also, usually if you go to McDonald's, you'll get the apple drink in Honest Kids. But he likes the grape. Um, you get eight of these um, pouches. And these were, oh my goodness, these are a really good price, you guys. You get eight of these for $1.99. dollar ninety-nine for this. Eight, pa eight pouches. So he bought two of those because that's what a dollar ninety nine each, three ninety eight for two. Good deal, good deal. Grocery outlet. Um, we then got some Hillshire Farms one hundred percent premium pork hot links. Yummy, yummy. And you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Uh, and those were, um, they were three ninety nine for the pack. Not bad. Then he picked up some. Put this stuff to the side, y'all. He picked up some of the Smithfield Thick Cut Bacon. This is some good bacon, y'all, okay? The Thick Cut, too, yummy, and Smithfield, yummy. Um, you know if you get Smithfield, you're getting some real pork. Um, but the Smithfield was... Uh, where is it? This was $3.99, which is a great deal. To get bacon for under $5, yes. So we picked that up. Um, my husband picked himself up some bananas. He loves, I mean, loves y'all. Y'all don't understand how much he, he really does love bananas. We like to get them with a little bit of green on them so they'll last a bit. Um, so those are our bananas. Um, let me see. A dollar oh nine. And you're getting a pretty good amount of bananas for a dollar nine. So the last honey crisp we got, you guys, that was so good. Yep, these are honey crisps. Oh, these things are delicious. I even cut these up and put them in my dog's dog food. You know, I cut them up in small chunks and give them to my dog. He loves these like a snack. Um, so we got these. This is one, two, three. You get about six of these honey crisp apples. And they were $5.56. They were, uh, it was 1.89 pounds. Of apples for $2.94 a pound. Eh, not bad, but these, these things is good. These are some good apples, y'all. I don't know. I had, to, I had to get it. Them things is good. Um, my husband loves Canadian bacon. These are the Land of Lakes Natural Hickory Smoked Canadian Bacon. Thick cut. Um, he likes to use these for like a breakfast sandwich. And let's see. These are, these were... A dollar twenty-eight. So it's a dollar twenty-eight for this pack of Land Lakes Canadian bacon. That's a really good deal, y'all. So we picked that up. Um, we picked up a bag of onions. That's about one, two, three, four, five onions um, in the bag. And those were a dollar twenty-nine for the yellow onions. Not bad. Well, we'll just leave these here. I already told you about the Honest Kids. I told you guys about the crispy chicken wings. Let's move them to the side. Then we picked up our favorite eggs. These are the Eglin's Best Vitamin. Uh, you know, it's got all the vitamins in it. Eglin's Best 18 Eggs Grade A Large. And they were, if I can find it on here. Let me see if he got them from... I don't see them, so. Huh. Okay, large white eggs. These were $3.99. Good deal for 18 pack of large eggs. And for that name brand, because these are good, good eggs, you guys. Vegetarian fed ends. Yummy. Okay. Then hubby picked up some craft singles. You get 16 singles. Um, we needed some cheese. And they were. $2.99 for a 16 pack of these. Um, we picked up some Oscar Mayer turkey breast, uh, the Deli Fresh luncheon meat, mesquite smoked, and that was $3.98. Not bad. Um, that's the eggs, that's that. Then we picked up, um, hubby picked up a thing of peach slices in the juice. Power Sure, I never heard of this brand. 
It's a 15 ounce can. Um, because I had picked up some of the cobbler mix um, at Dollar Tree. So I'm guessing we're making a cobbler soon. Um, but let me see. Those were $1.29 for the can. And it's so funny because um, Dollar Tree and Grocery Outlet are right next to each other. So that's like maybe four cents more than Dollar Tree. But the can might be bigger. I can't remember how big the can is um, at Dollar Tree. So anyway. Um, he picked up a pack of steakums because I think we're going to make some steak sandwiches tonight. Um, he picked up some steakums. Um, this is oh, nine ounces. Um, how much were these? Yeah, these were $3.99. Not bad. He, bought, he picked this up. I love like haddock and uh, uh, y'all catfish bites. So this is wild caught haddock bites. Yummy, yummy. They're breaded haddock bites, 16 ounces. And these were $3.99 for, for one pound. Not bad. Eat that with some French fries. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a meal. Um, how many pick these up? He loves these, him and my daughter. I'm not a big fan. But these are the Kim Nori Seasoned Seaweed Snacks. These are really, really good for you, you guys. He had never seen this type. This is the seasoned barbecue. And you're getting like, let me see how many is in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three. So that's six and six. So you're getting 12. 12 packs in that container. And let me give you an idea on the pricing. I'm trying to think of where they would put it at. Oh, here it is. These are $4.99 for 12 packs, 12 packs of these. And my husband loves these. He'll eat this as a snack. Um, you can eat it with a dip, uh, whatever you want to do. He loves these. So I picked those up. Um, we also fell in love with um, this right here. These are the Natural Cravings Dark Chocolate Covered Almonds. Almendras, almendras, something. Um, the 52% cocoa. These are really, really good. And I don't think they're too bad for you guys. Here are the, um, you know, all the different, you know, what it contains. I'm trying to look up the sugar. 12 grams of sugar, not too bad. Um, everything else is not too bad. But this is dark chocolate. I am not a big dark chocolate lover, but these right here are addictive, you guys. Uh, me and hubby ate the other one like in like a split second. They were so good. So this is good for a little good snack. We picked those up. And those were um, $3.29 for the pack. Yummy and yummy. They're well worth it, y'all. Well worth it. Um, we also were looking for some virgin olive oil. This is the Star Extra Virgin Olive Oil. You know, this stuff costs so much money. I have to see how much this is. 16.9 fluid ounces. And let's see how much olive oil is going for these days. Oh, Lord. This was $8.99 just for this container, okay? We used to be able to get olive oil for much cheaper. But all oil, any type of oil, even canola oil, like whatever oil is getting really, really high, so... Anyway, we love olive oil, so you got to pay the price. Um, anyway, hubby picked this up. These are the Martin's. Woo, dropping stuff. These are the Martin's hoagie rolls. And you're getting, how many of these are you getting, you guys? One, two, three, probably six. I think you're getting six Martin's hoagie rolls. And these are for the cheesesteaks. I'm going to use those and those for the cheesesteaks. And the hoagie rolls, huh, I got to be able to find it, right? There they are, $4.29. Martin's is the brand that they've switched up in my Dollar Tree. They don't sell the Dollar Tree $1.25 bread anymore. They now sell this in Dollar Tree for like maybe $3.99. Not these loaves, but they sell the bread. Uh, which I'm not willing to pay $3.99 in Dollar Tree, so I don't buy it. But this is the brand that they sell locally. 
So that is it, you guys. That's everything. We picked up some good pricing from um, the grocery outlet. And let me see if it tells me how many items, y'all. Mm, I hate when it does it. I know it's on here. Maybe they don't. Anyway, we can count it out because I'm mad now. Hmm, it doesn't. So we're going to count it out because it ended up being a balance due of $71.96. Um, yeah. And we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 so we had 19 items um for a total of 71 dollars and 96 cents um so i had to figure that out and put in the video because y'all know my math is not good y'all can figure it out in your head but i'll go ahead and put it in the video and let you guys know um how much per item hope you guys have a great weekend please stay blessed you guys and stay safe and lady c will be talking at you later Bye-bye, y'all.